Good morning students. Welcome to class 12th arts. We begin our history syllabus with the first chapter which is Bricks, Beads and Bones. Our focus will be on Harappan town planning for this Look at the map which which shows the spread of the Indus Valley Civilization or the mature Harappan phase. Initially, the name which was given was Indus Valley Civilization because initially the entire sites which were discovered were near to the Indus and its tributaries. But later on, the sites were found in Gujarat and Sindh and hence the name was changed to Harappa, which was the first site to be discovered. Now, when we look at the town planning, we we see through the Mohenjadaro, which is a case study. So the city was divided into two parts, upper town, which was also known as the citadel mm -hmm. and the lower town where multiple houses were there. The citadel was at a higher ground. It was smaller, but higher. It was constructed on mud brick platforms. It was walled. It was physically separated from the lower town. Now see the burnt bricks which are which was used for the town planning. The specifications of the bricks used and the actual figure which shows that the standardized bricks of uniform size were used. Burnt bricks were used. Now if you see this picture on the left hand side this is the actual site image of Harappa and on the right hand side this is the reconstruction of gateway at Harappa. This is artist representation of Kalibangan and if you see the citadel and the lower town, it is clearly visible how physically separated both the towns were. Now in the citadel, the two most important public buildings which have been found, one of it is the Great Bath. Look at the figure on your right, this is the actual site image of the Great Bath. On the left hand side, that is the artist representation of Great Bath. This was a tank. It was a rectangular tank surrounded by a corridor on all four sides. Two flights of steps on the north and south led to the tank. It was made watertight by setting bricks on edge and using a mortar of gypsum. There were rooms on three sides and in one there was a large well. So the water from the tank flowed into a huge drain. So they took there was emphasis on not only cleaning the tank regularly, that is why they drained it and the large well provided the water for it. Towards the north, there was a smaller building with eight bathrooms, four on each side of the corridor with drains from each bathroom connecting to a drain that ran along the corridor. The historians probably agree with the fact that it was used for ritual bathing as each and every house in Mohenjo-daro had a well and a bathroom. This is the actual site image of Harappa. It was a huge brick structure and which shows that there was surplus production. When we see the lower town, this was a city which was divided into blocks. There was grid pattern, which means that the roads cut across each other at right angles. The wide streets were there. Houses were along the streets. It seems that the streets with drains were laid out first and then houses were built along them. Domestic waste water flowed into the street drain. Let us see the domestic architecture or the layout of the house. The courtyard was at the center. Activities such as cooking and weaving were done then. Rooms were on all sides. If you see that there is Apparent concern for privacy. There were no windows on the ground level. It is clearly mentioned. Main entrance does not give a direct view of the courtyard. Each house had its own bathroom paved with bricks. The drains connected through the wall to the street drains. Some houses, in some houses, remains of staircase are found, which shows that probably they were double story houses. Many houses had wells. Now look at this figure carefully. This was the bathing platform next to the well. Location of the well was also near the street so that the drain which connected the house drain 
would connect with the street drain. There was a manhole, there was a soap pit, there was effluent disposal. Now, if you see this liver, uh, this drainage system in Mohenjo-daro, you will see that the streets with drains were laid out first and then the houses were built along them. Covered drains with manholes aided cleaning. There was domestic wastewater was connected with the main drain. This system was not only found in larger sites, but also in the smaller sites like Clothal. While houses were built of mud bricks, sometimes, we have evidence that the drains were always built of burnt bricks. If you look at evidence of town planning, a lot of times a question in, comes in the board exam. You can include not only the town planning, the, the division of the towns and uh, the drainage system, which I have mentioned, but these three points to be included, that it was a planned civilization. Once the platforms were in place, all building activity within the city was restricted to a fixed area on the platforms. Another sign of planning includes bricks which were sun-dried or baked and were of a standardized ratio where the length and breadth were four times and twice the height respectively. It is evident that the streets with drains were laid out first and then houses were built along them. Now let us see the commonly asked board questions. Kindly go through these questions, try and answer them. In case you get, have difficulty, please kindly contact. Thank you. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Chalo, ab isko mujhe, please, ab main link de